hello guys welcome back so in the previous video we have implemented the splash screen and now we will work on the auth screen which is our this screen okay so let's just close the splash screen for now and here on the auth screen dot dot file we have the save bar where we just write welcome message but this is not what we want okay we will simply remove the whole scaffold widget and then we can simply say that default tab controller length will be 2 and the reason for this is now because we are going to create our sign in and sign up screen okay on our this auth screen that is there will be two tabs the first one when the user click on login it will be it will display the login form and when the user click on the register it will display the register form that is the sign up form okay so yeah after this we can say child scaffold Let's add an app bar. App bar. Now, if we test the app, I mean, let's see how it looks now. So this is how our screen looks like. So okay, because we have till now an empty app bar, and now we have to set our default app controller. Uh, for the login and sign up uh, forms let's set the title so the title is our app name ifood and then let's apply some styling on it font size will be 60 then the color will be color start white and then of course the font family will be lobster since you know that it is here okay at the left side we want it to display it on the center so after the after the title we can simply say center title and set it to true so now you can see it for our app bar color I mean we will use a gradient or you can say a uh, mixture of two colors okay cyan and amber so let's just do that quickly so after the app bar we can simply say flexible space container decoration box decoration gradient linear gradient here we have to provide our colors so we will use two colors which will be the first one will be colors dot cyan comma colors dot amber and then after this we can set that is from where it will begin and from where it will end so we can say begin const fractional offset dx will be 0, 0 0.0 and the DOI will be 0, 0.0, 0 then the end will be fractional offset 1.0 and DOI will be 0, 0.0 then after it stop it 0.0, .0. now you will see it how it work then the tile mode will be tile mode dot clamp 
So this is how our app bar looks now. Combination of amber and cyan color. Now the next thing is basically to as you can see we have till now add a app bar. Now below the app bar, okay, to the bottom of this app bar we have to add our tab controller. Basically where we will have the login and sign up form okay on which the user will click so we will navigate between login and sign up forms so anyways for that what we need to do inside the app bar let's just minim first of all make sure to add here const okay and remove this const on here and then also alongside with the text add const okay that's it now let's just minimize the flexible space title so after inside the app bar after the center title we can simply say bottom const tab bar tabs first of all we will add our first tab which is for the login so let's add icon and text for it the icon will be icon icons dot lock comma and color will be colors dot white then after it some text so the text will be login okay so I refresh it because the length of it is two so that's why it says that you have provided only one tab okay which is the login so we have to provide two tabs since you know the length of it is two so let's just copy paste this tab one more time uh, for the register so you can say person icon dot person and it will be our register form okay so let's just refresh it and now here you can see it okay now you can simply navigate between login and register for the sellers app now here you can see this indicator it is uh, blue color okay now let's just set the color for it and the weight of this also so after the tabs we can simply say indicator color and the color for this will be colors dot white 38 and then some wet for over that okay for this line I mean this blue bar so let's six will be good and here you can see now this one okay now it looks more good now these are our two buttons you can say okay our tabs where we allow a seller to I mean navigate between login and register but we have not yet created the login and register feature so for that what we need to do after the app bar what we need to do we can simply say body as you know the body of login and register is empty now okay so we will of course implement it one by one for now we will simply say container first of all let's add the color a gradient two types of color to the body you can say decoration box decoration gradient linear gradient begin alignment dot top right and end will be alignment dot bottom left and then of course the colors will be colors dot amber colors dot cyan so here you can see this was the color now after this uh, box decoration we can add our login and register pages okay I mean the forms so child tab bar view since we are using tab bar okay 
children widget and here basically we have to provide our login and register forms code for that we will create separate uh, dot files okay in order to keep the code clean so right click on authentication new dot file we will say login login dot dot okay and then let's create another one which will be register okay that's it so on the register we can simply say import material dot dot and then we can create stateful widget we will simply give it name as sign up screen sign up screen or if you want you can simply say registered screen okay whatever name you want but make sure to remember the class name anyways now come back here and here we can simply say material dot dot on the login dot dot file and then create stateful widget and the name of it will be login screen so come back to the auth screen first of all we will set our login screen okay and then we will have the register screen comma make sure to write here const so yeah this is all about our auth screen okay where we have set the app bar then this bottom of our app bar and then we set the tab view for the login and register form and in the next video we will of course implement the login and register form okay and before we go there let's remove this back button from here so inside the app bar after the flexible space you can simply write automatically empty leading and make it false and it will remove this back button from here so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now